This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of Biblical Life TV. Deep waters to nurture and empower the remnant for the last days. There is a power that is about ready to be released from heaven to those that seek after the things of the kingdom of God. When it comes to the Word of God, there is a supernatural unction of the Holy Spirit to learn. God is up to something for those that will study to show yourself approved. Right now there's a lot of things in the kingdom that God is trying to establish that goes against people's theology. You need to understand your roots, where you came from. God may require us to change what we're doing to make walking in the kingdom a higher priority than it ever was before. We were never called to have a little light. We were called to be ablaze with the fire of God in this generation. Join the remnant from around the world who are empowered by the Word of God to fulfill God's purpose in these last days. God is speaking something different. That is going to be essential in the days ahead. And that's part of this anointing that we have to have. Prepare yourselves for spirit-filled teaching. Biblical Life TV. Okay. Wanted to show everybody how far we are, and I couldn't remember. I don't remember if we showed them last time that we were here, what we've got done, at least on the educational side. I don't think we did. So... If we did, and we're repeating it, sorry guys. <laughs> I don't think that this is the war room we're standing in. This is the in. war room we're in now. And I'm gonna kind of spin around here. This is the conference part of it. And we're gonna go through here. If you can see, see if I can point this toward the floor. We got all new flooring put in. We have all the rooms painted. We, uh, we had all the HVAC repaired. And I'm going to go through here to another room. And uh, we already had these wonderful chests donated, and we're hoping to eventually uh, get a uh, table that matches that. And so let's go on down through here. As you can see with the, with the hallway, everything on this side has been, has, has all new flooring in it, and we have 12 rooms to work with. And so now we're going to go on in here through the gym. Which hasn't had anything done yet. Hadn't have anything done. In fact, on phase three, we're gonna take care of this here. We're going to have, let's see if I can get this right. Uh, as you can see the damage from the smoke when they had the fire here. Uh, we're gonna get that taken care of. We're gonna have the uh, walls raised up to 11 feet and then the drop ceiling put in. Uh, to get that looking really nice. And now we're going to, uh, in fact, I'm going to try to insert here some video uh, when this was just a big open room here, uh, more like a warehouse. And any fire damage here has been, has been repaired, but it's all been gutted. And the size of this room, I believe, is 50 by 280 feet, and 80 feet. In this area back over here, we're going to build the kitchen. Uh, there's framed in for the, for the women's restroom, and the men's restroom will be framed out for that. Over here on the right side, we're going to put a uh, little nursery. And then starting at these doors on back is going to be the sanctuary. And from what I understand, we should be able to easily seat up to 250 people in it. When we get it set up, it's going to be set up not only for audio recording, but it's also going to be set up for full television uh, so that not only uh, can we continue recording for Biblical Life TV, uh, but uh, we've actually heard from here, the Watchman, others that would love to have conferences here uh, to where we're going to be able to bring speakers, things that we believe are essential to help prepare the remnant for the last days that we're going to be bringing in here uh, to uh, not only be able to minister to the people locally, but that we're going to be able to record and put on DVD so that we can get it out to the remnant wherever they are 
in the world. And as you see, there's, there's going to be a lot of work done here. And what God has put in our hearts is we're not going to borrow a single penny. As God provides, we're going to do the work so that when this thing is done, it is debt free. We don't have to worry uh, about uh, bankers or anything coming in trying to stop what we're doing or try to impede us or trying to silence the truth of what we're trying to share. And uh, guys, we got this for a fraction of its cost. And uh, I'm, I'm estimating that when we get the remodel done and everything else, we're going to have a facility that may be worth $2 million. You might want to go to these doors and show them if you can show out there. We were so concerned in the beginning. As you can see up above, we've already had the HVACs put in up here on top. And we've had most electricity done. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I was trying a new gimbal and this is not working out right. So we're just going to keep on filming and I'm just going to do it by hand. And over here is going to be a pantry that we have not a lot of this yet has uh, uh, none of the lighting's up. We have some construction lighting up. This is going to be a pantry and I'm going to go over here uh, to this is going to be Mary's kitchen. Now I'm going to stand over here under this um, tent Ansel, and yep. over the, the stove so you can tell me it is. <laughs> this thing's this huge. She's going to be in front of two double stoves, so we'll have lots of room to work. But what's great with this too is we don't have to worry about a fire that when uh, uh, that actually has fire suppression built into it. We're going to have counter space all the way around. Uh, we have a pass-through window here. Uh, the gym we're going to have is the fellowship hall where folks can eat when they're at the conferences. We're going to have some uh, commercial refrigerators and freezers here and sinks and dishwasher. And then two islands in the center for cooking. And this out here, this section, I didn't realize how big it was going to be. And so we're actually, actually have room to put even more tables here to eat with. Yep. And so we're going to go this way. This is one of the furnace rooms. Uh, this space is 6,000 square feet, and so they had to put four HVAC systems in uh, to handle all of it. And then we have a cry room back here for those that bring little kids that uh, are kind of past their, their nap time. Uh, we're going to have two uh, bathrooms over here, the men's bathroom and the women's bathroom. And then here is the... Um, AV center that we're going to have and as you can see they have already stained all the doors and what I have found with our contractor he's a he's a believer and everything he does is top shelf all the doors have steel frames around them and these are all solid uh, wood doors that they're going to be putting in and then this is the front that we're going to have the platform for uh, for the speakers let me pan back around over on this other side and I'm going to Go and actually stand up on the platform. We're hoping to get 200 to 250 people in here uh, once we get chairs and everything. I think we can get more than that. <laughs> yeah, Mary says we could squeeze in 300. But this just shows you how big uh, the auditorium is going to be. And the way we had it broke up when we first looked at bidding for this. We kind of had a uh, price that we had in mind that we thought it was going to cost, but it was right as everything went crazy with COVID and the price actually doubled on everything. And so uh, the contractor was great enough to divide it in half. And so what has been done now that we have paid for, we're now saving up for the other half. They're going to put all the lighting, the drop ceiling, finish out all the wiring. Uh, they're going to put in the bathrooms, the flooring. Uh, the kitchen, all the all the equipment for the kitchen was included in the bid that they have given us. And then phase three will not only be finishing up the gym, uh, it will be getting the TV cameras, the, uh, the um, audio video, all the chairs and the tables that we need for the facility. Mm -hmm. And our faith project, what we're believing God for, is to have this thing done and ready by next fall for us to have our first conference, which is really a stretch of faith and so we're just asking everybody pray with us 
with man it's impossible with God all things are possible and I really wanted to show this to you just to brag on God and just to show you just how far we have come this this is going to be really a nice facility uh, that we can use for his glory and, and we're to thank our partners and to thank our partners absolutely and start praying now because we believe that this is not only going to be a training center it's an embassy for the kingdom of God mm-hmm. I want the presence of God here strong that people, all they got to do is walk in and and immediately the restoration process begins because they're in the presence of God. And if we'll pray about that and just keep seeking the face of God, we're going to see it done in Jesus' name. And more importantly, we're going to see lives change and we're going to see God raise up an army in the last days to do his will in the earth.